Hello, thank you for coming back. Oh, I was hoping you'd come back. It's been really lonely here without you guys. I've got a fantastic video today. I haven't watched it yet, but hey, I'm just gonna assume because it's 16 things not to do in Germany. And this is kind of what I've been wanting to get to. Like, what's the, what's the etiquette? What's the difference between living in the USA and Germany? Can you just walk around throwing your cigarette butts everywhere on the street? When you walk in the front door, do you say hello to the to the person at the grocery store? When you're checking out at the cash register, do you say, hello, how are you? That's what you do here. Um, let's see. But this is what not to do. Okay, so we'll see. Because I don't want to go there and embarrass myself. Let's go. What's up, everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States and I am from Germany. And in this video, Perfect. we're going over 16 things that you should not do in Germany. Okay. All right, so some of these things are a little more serious and some of them are going to be pretty funny. So let's just get right into it. I need All to right. know, like, is, is the middle finger, that's what you always hear as a kid. Like, in this country, if you raise your pinky, that's the same as your middle finger. They, they don't say that about Germany, but... Stuff like that, it's super weird. At number one, you should never recycle wrong or throw away your Pfand. Pfand! <laughs> I thought he was gonna say you should never recycle. I'm like, <laughs> so, what the heck is Pfand? So Germany is a pretty green country and people tend to take their recycling pretty serious. So if you're here, you should not okay. just throw everything in one bucket, but separate it between plastic, metal, paper, oh, wow. rest, and all that good stuff. I don't even know how many there are. <laughs> so fund is a deposit where you pay a little extra. That's weird, because here in America, I just assume they're doing that at the plant, okay? Everything's going in one bucket, for the most part. Everything in one bucket. Well, except for metal. I feel like that's separate. No, 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 no. I take that back. Aluminum cans and stuff. Yeah, it all goes in the same thing on bottles or cans and you'll usually return them at a little machine in the supermarkets where you get a voucher and your money back what? for doing a good thing so at the supermarket okay you have we have some super little dumb programs like that in the states where you can bring your cans to like some plant and they'll give you five cents but that looks incredible look at that oh my gosh that's beautiful you just go you just oh my god you walk into the grocery store you throw your, your bottles in there and you get a receipt that gives you money to buy more groceries? Little machine in the supermarkets where you get a voucher and your money back for doing a good thing. So never throw away your fun bottle. That is so Pafund. cool. <laughs> Number two. I still don't know what Pafund is. You should never drive on the left. In fact, we're looking that up. Pafund. A deposit. Okay. Okay. So it's just a word for a deposit left or the middle lane of the autobahn there's actually a lot of drive on the left or the middle lane of the autobahn there's actually a law in passing. place that requires you to drive on the right lane on the autobahn at all times unless you're overtaking somebody so yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're not planning to go super fast and overtake a lot of people so if you're not going like 250 miles an hour you stick to the right lane see here in the states that is like i don't think that's a law it might be a law some places, because some places it is posted, like, stay right on less passing. Um, but in the vast majority of places, that's just, like, the etiquette. And there's a lot of people that don't follow the etiquette, and it makes absolute... I don't know the word. Uh, I was going to say carnage, but that's not the right word. <laughs> I mean, it probably does cause a lot of accidents, but it causes chaos is what I'm looking for out there on the on the highways and stuff. When people, grandma's in the left lane going 20 miles an hour. You're required to drive on the right lane, so don't drive in the middle of the left like lane that. slowly and block traffic. Very efficient. Because people it will get be. aggressive. And honk. Number three, don't walk in the bicycle lanes. In Germany, there are a lot of different bicycle lanes in and out of the city. And especially in student towns, there'll be a lot of bikers. So don't walk in them. Walk in the pedestrian zones or a sidewalk. That's what they're for. Number. Hmm. Yeah, that's not, I wouldn't say that's common in America either. You're not walking in the bicycle lane. Now we don't have nearly, we probably don't have nearly as many bicycle lanes, but when they are there, um, yeah, you walk on the sidewalk. 
No, not bicycle lane. Come on, people. Uh, four, do not address strangers using their first name. It is kind of funny, but in Germany, for the word you, if you address... How would you know their first name if, if they're a stranger? Somebody, we have two versions. There is du and there is Z. And Z is a polite version. It also implies that Z, you're on a last name basis. So that is the polite version to use. And if you meet somebody for the first time, or especially an elder person, you use oh, the polite form. You do not use their first name. You are on a last name basis and use the Z instead of the do. And if you get to know a person. So there's kind of two things going on there. There's, there's like a separate uh, pronoun or whatever. And then there's also that you, you use the last name. I feel like that's two separate things but they go together. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very well, and you're on a friend basis, on a first name basis, then it's fine to use the first name and the do. Do Diana. Do Diana. Do. <laughs> Number okay. five, don't use public transportation without a ticket. A lot of the public transportation systems are controlled a lot, and there'll be men and women who just appear once the ride has started to check on everyone to see if they have a ticket. Yeah, they're undercover. And the fines are usually kind of <laughs> high or out of proportion with the ticket prices. Yeah. A number I always have in my mind is 60 euros, but now- That's kind of a funny one. <laughs> Tip, do not, do not steal public transportation. Do not hop the gate. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't do that here in the States either, but people do. Nowadays, it might be even more like 80 or 100. It's not worth it. Okay, number six, and this is a little bit more of a serious one. You should never show the Nazi salute or joke about Nazis in Germany. Of course, because of- <laughs> It's a bizarre. I'm sorry to laugh, but uh, okay. Someone just walked in front of my window. That was weird. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, you you shouldn't do that in America either, but I do know there are like different rules, like actual laws regulating that type of symbolism and speech in Germany, right? Like it's not, here in America, you would just be like chastised, but in Germany, I guess you'd actually could get in some deep doo-doo. The history in Germany, it's kind of a forbidden thing to do. And most of the Germans nowadays were kind of raised by this post-World War II anti-Nazi generation. Hey, if another good. person comes to the country <laughs> and does so. anything Nazi related, it's so out of our minds that it's so weird that the world still thinks that. So that's quite offensive and you should never ever do that. And by the way, didn't plan on it, but hey, okay. The same thing also applies to sing the old version of the national anthem. And I think around oh. the world, a couple of people still think that might be it. And it's the one with the Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. That is the Nazi anthem. You're not allowed to sing that anymore. The real one is Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit, blah, blah, blah. That's the newer national anthem. And that's the only one that's supposed to be sung in Germany. Number gotcha. seven, don't gossip in English in public. <laughs> Most Germans have a very decent grasp of mm. English and they'll probably understand you. I know it's very common when people go to other countries, they tend to gossip in another language. <laughs> I've heard it spoken in a different languages all the time and it's a little uncomfortable and embarrassing when other people understand you. So to avoid uncomfortable situations like that, gossip behind their back. <laughs> right, like normal people. What does Gino mean? But yeah, that's funny. That's like very stereotypical here. Like at the, if you're at like a Asian nail salon or something, the little Asian ladies are gossiping in Chinese. And then you'll find videos if you look these up of people being like, hey, I, I, I know what you just said. I'm not gonna do like a Chinese impression because uh, yeah, I'm just not doing that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I would be super, if my friend was trying to like gossip in English while we're around the people, that would be so uncomfortable. I'd be like, uh, bro, stop. <laughs> Number eight, you should never disrespect the German quiet hours. So every day or rather every night from 10 p.m. till 6 or 7 a.m. the next morning in Germany, by law, there are quiet hours. So you're not supposed to like play loud music, do construction or anything like that. Most of the country kind of abides by that rule, which means there's very little noise pollution during the night when you're trying to sleep or relax. And I think it's a kind of a nice thing. So if you do that, <laughs> the Germans probably will call the police on you because they think they're in the right and they do that and the police knocks on. That knock just freaked me out because it sounded, that was, that was the video, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, there's certain like ordinances and stuff like that around America, depending on the location you're in. Typically, if you're in like a nice neighborhood, 
yeah, you can definitely get the cops called on you if you're like throwing a party in the middle of the night in a nice neighborhood. Now, with that said, it's still very common. And certainly outside of the nice neighborhoods. Oh, yeah. You never know what you're going to get. I mean, you're, ne- you're freaking, you can live in an apartment complex and people are banging their freaking stereos and their bass and their subwoofers. <laughs> Your whole bed is shaking. Ah, 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 shut up. And you're banging the ceiling with the broom. Yeah, so that sounds pretty nice there in Germany. We need some quiet hours here too. I'm like, turn it down. Never, ever disrespect the quiet hours. All right, so before we continue with the video, we want to take a quick moment to remind you guys, please go and like the video. It helps us out hey, a lot. We're still you know a what? small channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I can see oh. that about 80% of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Also, if you want to further support us, you can do that on Patreon. We support right, we're skipping ahead a little bit. Take a quick we like the video. We so like the video. Much. rely on credit card payments. In- oh. So number nine, don't solely rely on credit card payments. In Germany, there's still a lot of things that are pretty cash-based, and sometimes your credit card will even be rejected from a stall, a bakery, or a vendor. So it's important to note and make sure you have cash on you. So number... Mm, that's really, um, that's pretty unusual compared to the States. That, um, in the States, unless you're going to, like, a food truck at the fair, or... There's just really not that many... Um, circumstances where you would not be able to use a credit card. So that is interesting. Number 10, don't expect small talk. Mm. If you're from the South and you're used to the good old Southern American small talk, that's mm-hmm. not going to happen. And it's not trying to be rude. It's just a cultural difference. So don't expect a chat with a random stranger about the weather or something. <laughs> but I wonder if they would, would they think you're rude if you did try to small talk with them? Number 11 is do not expect free water anywhere. So if you're used to the American way, you go to a restaurant and the waiter comes right away with a nice bucket of cold ass water and a nice bucket (laughs) refills you for free all evening long. That is not a thing in Germany and you should. Hey, at least America has one thing for free. We got water. Yes. Who needs healthcare and stuff like that? We got free water. I mean, that is pretty cool. I'll I'll take that as a W for America. Yes, free water. Now it comes straight out of the tap, so it's nothing like super special, but. Did not expect that. I think it's quite of a dumb thing, but water in German restaurants is quite expensive and most of the times even bubbly. Sprudelwasser. I don't like the Sprudelwasser. So in some places you could actually ask for tap water and potentially get it for free, but a lot of places don't even do that. And if they do, it might be a little frowned upon, but in general- Frowned upon, ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, you want your tap water, huh? You're not good enough for the bubbles. (laughs) I'll take the tap water, okay? You can frown at me. You should not expect free water everywhere. Number (laughs) 12. That is interesting. Do not enter a house with your shoes on. So all around Germany, it's pretty common to take off your shoes if you enter somebody else's house, or at least you should ask if you should take your shoes off. And sometimes they'll say, no, you don't have to, but a lot of times people take their shoes off right at the entrance. That would be considered polite in America too. Now, if you're going to like a big gathering at a house, like a lot of people, then yeah, it's not like everybody's expected to take their shoes off, but... If you're just going over to a friend's house, yeah, usually you take your shoes off. Um, but you'll also have, and it's certainly polite to ask, but you will have people who are like, oh, don't worry about it. Leave them so, there and similar. then just walk around in your socks. Leave your dirty shoes in the front. Yeah. I'm kind of curious how many of the households do that. I would say the majority of the households in Germany do that thing and do not walk around with their shoes on. Maybe let us know in the comments below if you had to take your shoes off at your parents' house or how you do it at the moment. Oh yeah. So number I was not wearing shoes around my parents. 13, don't give advance birthday wishes. 
even if it's a day before someone's that's so random birthday what? and you will not see them on their birthday do not wish them a happy birthday it's not Why? their birthday yet i learned that after coming to germany you are not allowed to wish them a happy birthday until on their birthday or after their birthday yeah and i was surprised to learn in the u.s that a lot of people do that actually some people will have a party a week in advance if that just works with their schedule so much bad luck <laughs> oh bad luck is that what it's about? I'm trying to figure out what, why, why? Why can't you just be like, hey, happy advanced birthday? Um, yeah, you do that all the time here in the States. If you're not going to see them. Hmm. But it's considered bad luck, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Number 14 is kind of a very serious one. You should never, ever expect to be dressed in a sauna on every beach. All right, this is kind of a what? expect to be dressed in a sauna on every beach. On every beach? Okay, wearing clothes in a sauna. Yeah, that's weird. Now, certainly you could wear a towel um, around the waist or whatever, but that kind of, that would be kind of gross anyway to wear clothes inside a sauna. Uh, but what does he mean on a beach? He's throwing me off with that. All right, this is kind of a funny one. We just wanted to throw that in there. In Germany, in a sauna, usually you are naked. You go in with a towel. Now, is it co-ed like that? You got girls and guys in the, in the same sauna? Now that's interesting. And then you take it off or whatever, but you are actually not allowed to wear any clothing. If you wear clothing in there, people can get the whatever security or supervisors and they'll throw you out or make you undress. You <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like the most interesting, odd, like it's like reverse. I don't even know what, like, like, hey, take your, this guy isn't taking his clothes off. Kick him out of here. Get him out of here. Now I'm trying, I was thinking like, I have worn a bathing suit in the sauna. So I'd be kicked out, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I go into a public sauna, I'm not the type to really be interested in being completely naked. I'll wear the bathing suit because usually they're at the pools and stuff. So I'm already in the bathing suit. So yeah, I'll wear the, I'll wear the trunks, go in, sweat. And it's all good. That's so weird. Get this guy out of here. He's got pants on. Must be naked. Yeah, there are also parts of beaches in Germany that are especially for nakedness, nude nudity. Beaches. <laughs> yeah, nude beaches. We call it FKK, Freikörperkultur. And uh -huh. on these beaches, you have to be naked. It's not allowed to wear any clothes. Like fully naked? Yeah, fully naked. Yeah, so I've yet to go to a nude beach or a nude sauna, but um, I'm open to it. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> ho. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. That's just interesting that it's like, you have to be naked. That's, huh. Huh, I, that's really interesting. Like, I would think it's like, yeah, of course you, at a nude beach you can be naked, but I wouldn't think it's like, oh, you, you have to be naked. Like, get out of here, bro. If you're wearing pants, leave. <laughs> Should I be concerned? Why? <laughs> I'm just going to be all a bunch of older people. So number 15, don't abandon your shopping cart. I feel like in the US sometimes they'll be shopping. I'm such like a, I spend so much time online. I was literally thinking she meant like an online shopping cart. <laughs> like your Amazon cart. Like you can't put the stuff in your Amazon cart and then abandon it. <laughs> okay, at, at, the, at the grocery store. Yeah, that's rude. That's rude. Now people will s sometimes do it. I mean, it's rare you find yourself in the circumstance where let me let me let her finish because I don't know exactly what circumstance. And cards spread throughout the parking lot. Ah, the parking lot. I thought they meant in the store. Yeah, people be doing that, and it. Oh yeah, that's annoying. And they'll just be like a shopping cart ghost town. In Germany, that is not the case. You need a coin to. Ask well, that's what they need. Yeah, like if you did that. I think Aldi's does that here. And that's a German. Isn't that a German uh, grocery store? Yeah, the Aldi's. Hey, look, <laughs> it says Aldi right there. That's an Aldi. Uh, yeah, I think here in the States, there are a lot of Aldi's where you have to give a coin. I think that's how it is at Aldi's. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And guess what? There's no carts in the parking lot. Cart, and you also want your coin back, so you have to return the cart to- Oh, I didn't know it popped in and out like that. Oh, that's cool, that's smart. Get your coin back. And it's a good system, it's nice, and there's not abandoned shopping carts everywhere. And our last point, point number 16, is in Germany, you should not jaywalk. We ain't in New York City. Ever? Yeah, but we're kind of in Berlin, so let's say you should not, but a lot of people still do it. Although I think the majority of the people kind of follow the rules and they do not jaywalk. You should always cross where the little traffic light is and then only when the when green the man mannequin, tells you. not the red one. Mm, and it's okay. not that hardly persecuted, but you can actually get fined if you get caught in the act. I mean, it sounds it sounds similar to the United States, but it does sound like you guys take it a little bit more strictly, because here in the U.S. there is there is really no issue with jaywalking. Like you can, people don't see an issue with it. You know, you can just no one would judge you. You just do it. Now it's it's safer to use the crosswalk, and when the little dude turns white, so that's what the majority of people are doing in the city. But if it's clear, yeah, run across the street, nobody cares. Act jaywalking, so the police sees you, gets you, and I don't know how much it is, five, 10, 20 euros, something like that. So you should not jaywalk in Germany. All right, so those were our 16. Awesome, okay. Well, shout out to Dina, Deanna, and Phil. That was an epic video. Yeah, okay, I learned some interesting things there about Germany. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. No free water. Wow. Are the bathrooms free? I know some countries don't have free bathrooms, but anyway, I guess I'm going to learn that in another video. Um, ooh, I'm going to have to watch some more of their videos. Eight things to bring and not to bring. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so subscribe for that. I think that's probably what I'll watch tomorrow. Um, and go check out these guys' channel. I like these guys. Um, that was super fun. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe, but either way, just watching, I appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic day.